All doing well today's video is going to be another back to school video and if you haven't seen my previous back to school videos I will have the playlist link down below so you can go watch them all if you want to however in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you a bunch of life hacks and tips and tricks and organization stuff to help make your life a little bit easier this year at school because school can be really hard sometimes and I just want to help you guys out if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more fun videos because we have a really awesome family going here and we would love for you to be a part of it. And also I have a ton of giveaways happening right now. I will have links to all of them down below in case you missed any of them. So yeah, you should definitely check them out if you're interested and definitely follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I really enjoy seeing you guys on there and it's a good time. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this intro. Let's go ahead and jump into the back to school life hacks. Yeah, let's, I think that's what we're gonna call it. Okay, go. This first life hack is really awesome for those of you that use your computer a ton and you wanna keep things organized on your desktop. So all you have to do is go into PicMonkey or I'm using Photoshop and create a customized organized desktop screensaver. I think this is really fun because you can really customize it to the colors and text that you like. And for mine, I would probably have sections for school, pictures, YouTube, and then a remember section for things I need to do this coming week. Once it's all complete, you just have to save it as a JPEG, make it your screensaver, and then go ahead and organize your files accordingly. Now I'm sure you guys have seen this one probably already because I know that it was mentioned a bunch last year, but honestly, I wish I did this in school because it would have helped me so much and that is to take a picture of your schedule and then make that your lock screen. This way you're always gonna have your schedule at your fingertips when you're running late or you don't know where you're going and it's just a plus not to have to carry around a piece of paper schedule, you know, save the environment. The next life hack is to trade notes with a friend so you don't miss anything important. Got the stuff. What stuff? The goods. What goods? The paper. What paper? The notes. Of course I have the notes. Silly. Well, fork them over. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Alright, alright. But, trade you back to tomorrow. Deal. Now this one's not necessarily a life hack, but I think that it's really important to have these things in your locker just on hand. So that would include water in case you forget it for PE class, a extra shirt because you never know what could happen at school. You're also going to want to have a granola bar or a snack of some sort just in case you forget your lunch or forget a snack and you're starving because that's not fun in class. And then I also recommend keeping a little pouch with some necessities in it like a tampon, possibly concealer because you know, zits pop up whenever. And also maybe some perfume and an extra deodorant stick and then definitely some chapstick. Just little things that you may need throughout the day that you may not have. My next life hack is to always have something fun to look forward to on the weekends to get you through the week. I hate school, I hate school, I hate school, I hate school, I hate school. This place sucks. Get me out of here, please. Oh wait, I think I have a concert to go to on Friday. That should be pretty fun. Okay. Now, if you're one of those people that is constantly running late for class, this is maybe a hack for you. I suggest you guys organize your lockers according to your next class. So before you go home that night, go ahead and put your books in order and take out any homework and maybe grab the books for your first class the next day so you don't even need to go to your locker. Now this one may be a little odd to some of you guys, but I have honestly done this one myself and I think it works pretty well. So basically all you have to do is record your own voice saying some notes. So if you have like a history test or a social studies test and you need to remember certain facts, record your own voice reciting these facts and you can use the voice memo app on your iPhone or even QuickTime has an audio recording option. And once you're done recording your audio message, you can go ahead and just save that onto your phone like you would a regular song. Now just listen to this uh, about a million times and you should be good for that test tomorrow. Good luck, Michaela. 
Now you can be studying for that test pretty much anywhere, anytime, and everyone just thinks you're listening to regular music. Now this last life hack is something I, again, wish I knew about in school because I definitely feel like this would have motivated me to rewrite my notes and just study and like be a better student, honestly. So if you're in a study funk, do yourself a favor and go on Pinterest and search up pretty notes. You're gonna find a bunch of gorgeous notes. Not only are they just really pretty and colorful, some of them are actually really helpful because they give you note taking tips and how to maybe make your notes a little bit easier to remember, especially if you're a visual learner. I feel like this might be really helpful to color coordinate and do different designs around certain things. Let me know in a comment down below which life hack or tip or trick you like the best and that you're gonna try out this year because I'd be very curious. And if you have any that you would like to share, definitely leave that in a comment down below because sharing is caring. And with your guys' help, we can all get through the school year together, even though I'm not going back to school. You know what I mean? Okay, so yeah. And if you like the video, make sure you subscribe and give it a like so more people can find this video and my channel because that would be really appreciated. And I will see you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day, bye.